everybody, this is Miss K and welcome to Miss K Go Postal. I hope you guys are having a happy Thursday, you know, at the plantation, at the slave ship. I'm having a decent day. I can I can actually hear a little bit. I don't sound as stuffy. So I'm here. Now, remember I told you guys yesterday when I came on and did my little short and told y'all about the T with the SDCs and the LDCs and all the all the ABCs and one, two, threes and four, five, sixes that's going on. So, as you guys know, in my area, um, they have opened the new SDC in Pompano. Now, if you are wondering where there are SDCs opened up around you, um, there's a list available so that you can see all the SDCs as they become open. The one in Pompano Beach, Florida is the technically the very first one is the flagship SDC that opens. Then after that will be the one in Atlanta, I believe. Let me put my readers on, I'm going to tell y'all, okay? So the one in Pompano that it's, it's grand opening was the 13th. So we are the first ones along with the one in South Atlanta. So that's, we're the first two. And if you want, remember I told you guys, you can go to Save the Post Office. Um, you can actually just Google new openings. This one I got off of um, e-commerce bites. And this is a list of all, and if y'all want to see it, it's a list of all the SDCs that are coming online. Starting from January, there are shitloads coming in uh, February um, that are opening up. Now, what Miss K got to tell y'all about these SDCs is the fact that there is no oversight in regards to what they're doing and how they're hiring. So they're opening these SDCs. They're rolling out all this new stuff, you know, because most of the SDCs are getting brand new things. Some, some of it is refurbished, but the majority of it, if it's a new building, they're getting new stuff. But there, there's no oversight in the hiring because they get to hire people. There's no oversight in how they're staffing, what's going on with it. There are people quitting left and right because they don't want to fucking work there. You know, it's crazy. They don't want to move. But the real tea is that they're not telling y'all. The real tea is that these SDCs that are coming open, they're just the beginning of other things that are going to jump off. So if you noticed in your area mail has been slacking off or the certain stations that are supposed to close and then come to your location or go to these SDCs and you've been wondering, especially if you had a big plant like mine, where's the mail? Like where, where is it coming? Well, baby, let me tell you where it's at and where it ain't at. Now where it's at is the fact that they're going to break down a lot of this stuff when it goes through from the big trucks to the small trucks. Meaning that some of the stations when they get this mail, and some of you guys are probably doing this already and probably don't know where it's going. They're breaking it down and a lot of that stuff is not coming to the plants. Because until they get that transition of these car these stations closing and the carriers fully moving to the SDCs, they don't want it to go to the plant because they're, it's going to mess up how, how it moves. And they're trying to get them ready for transition. So they're breaking down stuff at the station so we can go to other stations because technically that's how the STC is supposed to work. So at my particular location, as of this weekend, we are not going to be picking up delivering at certain stations that are closing because they're preparing them for the transition. Like this hospice, we preparing for the transition to the afterlife. That's what it is. And not even that, there are more LDCs that they're actually making. Now, there are some buildings that have became LDCs. Like us, we became an LDC. We lost our PDNC status. But what they're not telling you guys is, is that they're creating new LDCs. They're creating and making space. They're getting buildings for LDCs so that they can move people who are at the plants who may not go to the SDCs to the LDCs. And what they're not telling you guys is when it's going to open. They're not telling you that because they don't want y'all to panic. So at my location, right, we functioning every day with X, Y, Z amount of mail handlers and clerks. But our mail is going out the window. Now, we don't know if that mail is going to the new SDC or not. We know it's going somewhere. And now there's talk of an LDC that's supposed to open and they're giving it 12 months to open but are they telling any of the employees that of course not they're not telling nobody that 
That's why I keep telling you guys. These motherfuckers ain't asking your permission. They're not trying to inform you about what's going on. Because what's going on is already planned on going on. Last year, I told you guys shit was going to change. Now, this year, oh, 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 it's serious. It's so serious. These bitches ain't talking. So you got SDCs and the plan is to literally have an LDC literally within stone's throw of that SDC. So whatever plants that are functioning and they haven't converted into something else them motherfuckers going to the LDCs. Because we can't go to the SDCs right now. I know we can't. Maybe where you guys are, they might be offering. And just a word to the wise, because I'm getting a lot of emails from people who are not career. You are PSC, you are MHA, and it, it's sad but true, but the shit that's going down is, is that you're literally about to get converted. A week, four days, five days, and they literally come and go, <laughs> come here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this ain't gonna work out. They closing and they leaving y'all without jobs. Oh, yeah, this shit is going on. Miss K just found out last week. I just thought it was an isolated incident. Oh, no, 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 it's not isolated. This shit is serious. So if you work in a location, and, and trust me, they're not coming to tell you or having a meeting two or three weeks in advance and saying, hey, listen, we're going to close this facility because we're going over here and you may not have a job. No. I'm told this shit is literally, hey, how you doing? <laughs> how your mama never doing? Yeah, we closing. You ain't got no job. Come Friday, come Saturday, come whatever day. And they're not even offering the MHAs or the PSCs, an opportunity to go somewhere else. Now, mind you, I know what you're saying. Miss K, they don't have to. You right. They don't have to. They don't have to offer because you're not career. If they don't need you and they can't find space for you, they're going to let you go. But it's the due diligence of the union to back and say, well, hey, wherever we're going and this facility is closing, do they need X, Y, Z amount of MHAs or PSCs? And if such, are we pulling from our bank they're not doing that shit either do you know how many people get let go now listen miss k glass she a motherfucking regular all day long but i don't give a fuck it's still wrong it's still people without jobs and you may not be hearing about it because of course the post office is not going to fucking tell you every fucking week there's a station closing there's a plant closing, and especially when the plants close. And they're telling these non-career people, well, you know what? You got to go. And people are standing there holding the bag because they don't know what to do and where to go. I mean, you can apply. But you secretly got them hiring at these SDCs on the low. People off the fucking streets. Now, I understand everybody need a fucking job, but if you already got people here, use them. Use the people you got. But they ain't. This case just one of y'all. The shit that's going down right now is so tight-lipped, so secretive. Nobody want to talk about it. Nobody wants to discuss it. I can't tell you where the hell I'm going to be in two months. What the hell we're going to be doing in two months. Shit comes so rapidly. Now, the fact that they don't have any oversight on these SDCs and what's going on. And they're just doing whatever they want to do. There is no reciprocity whatsoever going on. What does that tell you? What does that fucking tell you? And truth be told, and I'm going to put it out there, in Pompano, where that SDC is, <clears throat> it's supposed to be an LDC near that motherfucker. You heard it. There's a bunch of buildings out there just waiting to be plucked. You think the post office only got one? This shit they haven't even fucking addressed yet as far as 
busting down walls or fitting it for whatever they need. The SDC is a small portion of it. There's more of it to come. And the plan for the majority of the SDCs that are going to have LDCs near them is going to take them a year to get that shit. And when it comes up and running, just like these SDCs, they literally going to go, hey, we're open. And they're going to spring it on you. Last year, we knew of plans of buildings opening, of new processing centers and all that shit. We knew. We just didn't know when. They wasn't releasing dates. They wasn't telling us nothing. They were just mum. And then literally, less than a month before the SDC opened, they go, hey, guess what? We're opening. You got to come. Come on. My carrier friends literally got a letter. Yeah, on this day, show up. Ain't asking. <laughs> We ain't asking, motherfucker. We tell you, show your ass up. So if you're working at a plant, just like Miss K, and you're concerned with your status, you're concerned with your job status, you're concerned with if it's going to stay open, baby, listen, let me tell you like this. Just ride it so the wheels fucking fall off. Because at this point, you don't have a say. You don't have a choice. There's nothing that you can do. And if you are non-career, I'm not telling you to quit. I'm not. There's no reason for you to quit. Just work. And hopefully, if you get converted, you get converted before shit hits the fan. But if you don't get converted, please understand Miss K. The words is coming out of Miss K's mouth. If they decide to come in there and close that motherfucking plant without notice, and they can do it, and they come to you and tell you you have no job, there's no recourse. I know people trying to go to the unions now, trying to get them to get them their job. They can't do nothing for you. Should they? Yes, they should. But if you're not career and if the building's closing, the building closes based upon the rules that are written in the contract. And if they don't have need for you at the new facility, they're not going to send you there. Only thing you can do is apply for something else. Baby. This shit is underhanded and sneaky. All this fuckery that's going on. All this fuckery. They claiming they do in these SDCs to streamline the mail. To make it more efficient. You've actually made it less efficient. You're making it fucking slow. You talking about you, you got SDCs so that they can cut out all the extra in the middle. No. No. Now, if you're in a small location and you at a station or you at a plant and everything's officially moving because you got what, what 1,400 population, 1,500, maybe 5,000 in your population, your mail should be moving relatively fast. But if you're in a metropolitan area, baby, it ain't working like that. It's just not. That's not how we move mail. We get it out. But not the way you're going to get out if you got a handful of people. We got more than that. So, listen, I'm just telling y'all. Keep your ears open. Keep it to the fucking ground. There is shit coming. You know how them old people say, I feel it, baby, in my bones. It's finna rain. Baby, it's finna fucking thunderstorm. It's finna be tore up, tore down, tornadoes. Shit finna whip through this motherfucker. Y'all ain't seen shit yet. These other SDCs haven't even come online yet. They come online in February. The one in Pompano and the one in Atlanta. Those two just came online. And as shit comes online, shit's going to start moving. And you're going to start seeing it. Don't be surprised if you go to work one day and they tell y'all some shit. Oh, you may not be in this building no more. They claiming they're not trying to excise. They claiming they're not trying to let people go. Bullshit. Bullshit. Hmm. I mean, you'll have a job, but where would it be? Where you going? Bitch, you going to be in space? The fuck? Don't nobody know. Be on, be on the moon? Station on the moon? It's, it's just like that now. It's come to the point where a majority of us just come to work and we're just here. We're just numb. Because you don't know what's going to happen from day to day. You can't even put your mind on that shit because there's too much other stuff going on. Motherfucking snowstorms, bitch ain't getting checks. Mail volume dwindling. People trying to figure out where the mail going. 
they popping up secretly as SDCs, then LDCs, new ones popping up that they ain't telling y'all about. They close the facilities literally on the day of. People ain't got no jobs. <laughs> yeah. Miss mm -mm -mm. K had to come out here and give y'all this info. Because as I get the info, I give y'all the info. So that y'all are fully informed and put that tool in y'all what? In your toolbox. And if this shit is going on where you at, you know somebody, you heard about it, drop it in the comments. I keep telling y'all, one band, one motherfucking sound, y'all. We all here for each other. So if something going on where you at, let us know. So we know what to fucking expect when this shit comes. Because shit's coming. If it's going on where you at, this shit has already happened to you. It's happening. Put it in the comments. People read. So they can go, oh, that's what's going on there. Oh, that's what y'all got going on. Oh, because you know Miss K don't got no fucking problem telling y'all what's going on at, at the fucking slave ship. And at the slave ship right now, it's uncertainty. At the slave ship right now, it's question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. And nobody ain't talking. Hmm. And what else they not telling you too is a simple fact that at these SDCs, they training clerks how to use equipment, like mail handlers. So what the fuck we supposed to do? They bringing in equipment to almost alleviate them the number of clerks that they need. Equipment don't need y'all. This shit's automated. Because all the shit, mostly in the SDCs, not mostly, all of it, is new. And... The unions are allowing this shit because this was part of the fucking deals that they fucking made when they found out about these plan to keep they stinking ass in power. While you sitting here every day with a thumb up your ass trying to fucking figure out where you're going to be working in the next couple of months or a year or two years or three years. Hmm. Okay. I'm just saying, y'all. You know how Miss K do. Miss K ain't got no hair on her tongue and I don't give no fuckity fucks. Who gonna check me? Who? I said what I said. But this for y'all. This for my postal friends. I want y'all to know what the fuck going on. Shit is real out here. Shit is happening. People are losing their jobs. Places are closing. And they're not telling you about the places that they're closing. They may be small minute places and small minute locations. But they're still closing nonetheless. I'm just trying to get y'all right. So y'all know what's going on. Anyway. So Miss K finna, you know, mosey back on and do some work. But I just want to let y'all know. So listen. Understand what I'm telling y'all. Get on it. You hear shit, let other people know shit. But just be diligent. Because things could come down from one day to the next. You don't know what the fuck's going to happen. What Forrest Gump say? <laughs> Life is like a box of chocolates. But with the post office, baby, it's a box of chocolates that's fucking half-ass eaten and then it left all the fucking raggedy-ass chocolates with the nasty nougat on the inside and ate all the good ones. That's the post office. But, let me go. Hopefully I have a rest of the fucking damn Thursday. And don't forget, look up in the sky tonight. It's going to be a full moon. It should be beautiful. And always remember my postal freaks, love and light.